to assist me in honoring our final awardee, I would like to introduce elementary school student Milani Dominguez. Milani is from the Carl G. Loro Elementary School in Providence. Will you please join me on stage as we honor Mr. John White, CEO of TACO. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Melanie Dominguez, and I'm proud to say I'm in the fifth grade at Carji Laurel Elementary School. On Thursday, April 16th, our school had Junior Achievement Day. My class had one volunteer, Mr. John Hazenwhite, CEO of TACO Incorporated. He came to teach the JA Our Nation program. He taught us about how to help people get water in their homes. He also showed us pictures of businesses, business, businesses and what they sold. We also learned how to make a business and the steps you need to know for creating your own business. At first, it seemed complicated, but Mr. White made it clear to me. I was able to envision the process. I also learned how to make a resume. One day, I will own a business and go to Brown University to major in mathematics. It was so nice of Mr. White to come to my school and teach my class how to make a business. It was the best JA day ever. Thank you. John, you are a visionary leader and in your company, and a compassionate leader in the community. You lead by example and believe in doing right by people. You are an avid supporter of the Rhode Island community, the arts, education, and most importantly, your employees. You have created the TACO Learning Center, a $20 million project to support your employees to further their education. Whether it's a language barrier, high school diploma, or a college degree, you have made it possible for your employees to have access to opportunity and success. John, will you please join us on stage? John. For your demonstrated acts of excellence and commitment to the Rhode Island community and to Junior Achievement's mission of inspiring and preparing young people to succeed in a global economy, the Junior Achievement Board of Directors award you our highest honor, the Morris J.W. Gaby Profile and Excellence Award. Congratulations. Good evening, everybody. Nice to, nice to be here. And Whoa, do I really look like that? <laughs> Scary thought. Um, I just want to want to take a couple of moments and, uh, and, and I just express my thanks and gratitude for this uh, for, a, for a number of reasons. <clears throat> what a what a terrific organization, which I'm, I'm learning more about uh, as we go on. Uh, we've been involved with Junior Achievement for, for a number of years and in several different ways, but now I'm beginning to get involved with, uh, with the whole thing myself. Uh, but you know, uh, I was just thinking to, to receive this award named after Mo Gaby is really an honor. This guy has given his life to helping young people. 
whether it's through, I've known him and his family all my life. In fact, he and, he and, and his wife were probably my parents' best friends, or some of them. And whether it was through scouting uh, or, 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 th or this junior achievement, uh, or, or his ult ultimately his greatest passion, which was Johnson and Wales, is Johnson and Wales. Uh, he has so committed himself to improvement and help and, and uplifting of, of youth. Uh, and so what an honor it is uh, uh, to, to receive this award named after him. And by the way, I, I'm very involved in Johnson & Wales and happen to think it's a, as great an organization as there is in the world for what it does. And as I'm beginning to feel about junior achievement, Lee, this is a, a special, special thing. Uh, so to be here is, is terrific. So I would, I would and, and you, young lady, <laughs> are a very smart young lady at that. <laughs> what, a, what a pleasure. And, and, and you know, my day, my time at, at, at the school uh, with that class was, it was so uplifting, and I, I want to, I want to, I want to just tell you why, uh, because it's really uh, what I think about all the time. I have a philosophy, Dale. I, I have a lot of philosophies too, just just like you probably did. Uh, but I have one which, which, uh, uh, which I share almost every time I speak to a group, and it's particularly pertinent here, thinking back at this day at the school. You know, the greatest blessing we have in this life, in my opinion, one of them, one of the blessings. I've got a lot of opinions too, but one of, one of, the, one of, one of the blessings that I'm thinking about is, is, is the ability to share time. The ability to share time with others. It is such an important thing for so many reasons. I've learned in my life uh, that everybody has a story. And most of them, 99%, are a whole lot more interesting than mine. And so we need to reach out and to sit and to listen to others around us, no matter who they are, because we always will learn. And you know, one thing we underestimate, all of us grown-ups, all of us really smart people, is the intelligence and the offering of young people. And if we would spend the time to listen to them, we would all learn just how smart they are. And you just showed us that. Thank you. And thank you very much. God bless. Have a great night.